Dallafor, who is with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan, of course, Senior Vice President of Marketing and Communication, but he uh, is an NFL veteran, has, uh, and he's a veteran of marriage, too, and uh, he has uh, played for a bunch of NFL teams. And will Lindsay let you watch football? Will, that, will this be the last Sunday oh. yesterday that you were able to watch three no. games in a row in the Ryder Cup and all the rest that's of that? That's one of the greatest things about her. She's just as much of a sports nut as I am. So. Okay, so that's good I'm to good hear. on that. Uh, we all sort of should have looked away yesterday, Kendall, for I think at the Lions, uh, they just, to me, and I don't know much about it, but they just seemed awfully flat, didn't they? Well, I think uh, <laughs> before most people got in their seats, we were down 7 nothing with yeah. the uh, kickoff return at the opening of the game, and it was just uh, a little bit off all day again. And it just, uh, they're 1-3, and three and they have a bye week, and they're searching for what's wrong and how they fix it. It's especially tough, is it not? I don't know if they had bye weeks when you played, but, I mean, to have a terrible loss like that and have to sit with it for two weeks. Well, you would say that's one side of the coin. People would be, uh, let's get back out there and let's go at this again so we can get a win. On the other hand, uh, the way they've been playing, uh, they probably could use a bye week and, and regroup and uh, do some uh, reflections and so on so people start to do what's wrong with their play and performance. I guess it would give some people some time to get healthy, too. Is there any chance we could get Louis Dominus back uh, after two weeks? Yeah, it would be nice to see him back. He would certainly strengthen up the, the weak secondary that's uh, back there. But you know, yesterday the defense only let up six points, and it didn't play all that bad. Uh, and you know, we had two touchdowns on special teams against, and you know, we dropped passes in the end zone and so on. It just... Uh, to the snowball farm. Yeah, that the, the ball seemed to have grease on it yesterday, even for Calvin Johnson, didn't you think? Yeah, it was interesting. You know, Calvin, after he, he got uh, popped one time, and then later in the game he got hit, immediately I, I saw a new protocol in the NFL. They had the NFL uh, doctors over there checking out for a concussion. Uh, mm -hmm. and they, they, they actually separated the uh, Lions staff from Calvin, and they were making the evaluation. Oh, really? Came back in the game and didn't, didn't seem to be the same, but uh, they did let him back in the game. Would you say that offensive line is the best position to aspire to if you want to keep your brain about you? Because these days it's more like shadow boxing than anything on the O-line, isn't it? Uh, maybe. So I, I don't know that you get the big train wreck, but you get a lot of car accidents. So <laughs> those are trade-offs. Ken always tells me when he played in the league the day after the game was that you felt like you'd been hit by a car and that it took like a whole day to recover because you, you couldn't sleep after. It's fascinating stuff. And we look forward to talking again soon to Ken Delafour. The Lions were sleeping on Sunday.